first thing I want to do for this example is take a look at this. Now remember, guys, a lot of confusion um, happened last class period when I was working some other classes. They said, oh, you can't take the you know, cube root of a negative number. No, you cannot take the even root. You cannot take the square root, the fourth root, the sixth root. Any square, any even root, you cannot take the even root of a negative number. However, this is 3, which is odd. You can take the odd root of a negative number. However, 9 is not an odd number, is it? No. Um, is there any other term in this expression we can rewrite to the third power? Why? Right? I could rewrite this as the cube root of negative 9 x squared y cubed times y to the first. Would everybody agree with me? Yes? Again, always try to simplify. I think it's just easier. Um, you could multiply everything first and then simplify. But I'm just telling you, I think it's the easiest when you guys can simplify. So therefore, can we, take, can we apply the identity element on the cube root of y cubed? OK, so I have y. So the cube root of y cubed is just y. Then everything else is left, is left in there. OK, so here's the rule that you guys um, are going to need to apply. Until we get to uh, rational powers, when you guys are multiplying radicals, OK? Here's a, do you guys, um, last class period, I said this. Square root of x times y equals the square root of x times, or the, the nth root. Remember when I said if you have the nth root of a product, you can break that up into nth root of x times the nth root of y? Yes? Notice how the n's are the same. Guess what, guys? This works the exact same way. If I have the nth root of x times the nth root of y, I can rewrite the, them as the product under the same index. So if I have the cube root of this expression times the cube root of this expression, I can multiply them as the cube root and then just multiply them over. Does that make sense? So I can rewrite this as y equals the cube root of negative 9 x squared y times 12 xy. Do you guys see what I did? Now, what's nice about this is um, I can only multiply numbers times numbers and then variables times the variables with the same base. So I could reorder these, but I don't want to just go over like so much work with this. Oops, that's not an equal sign. That's a y. So therefore, simplifying this, I do negative 9 times 12, which is going to negative 108. x squared times x is x cubed. y times y is y squared. Hmm. Is everybody OK with where I got? Yes? So why did you put y on the other side? On the other side. Where did I put y on the other side? I simplified this. The cube root of y cubed is y. Right? So it's still, it's still being multiplied, but it's just on the outside of the radical now. OK? So now we did this. So you simplify, apply operation, and then guess what step three is? Simplify again. And that's basically what you guys are going to be doing today. Because now I want to say, can I re is 108 a, a cube number? No, it's not a cube number. Can I rewrite it as the product of a cube number? And I didn't know this off the top of my head. So I had to go and check my calculator. I, see, I saw 108 if 8 divides into 108. It did not. Then I checked 27. 27 divides into 108, which is 4 times, right? So therefore, I can rewrite this as y cubed is cube root of, um, I'll do this as, yeah, we'll do um, a negative, well, let, let me write this out as negative 27. No, sorry. Yeah, negative 27 times 4 times x cubed times y. y times the cube root. I'm writing, I'm just writing out a lot of steps for you guys. Negative 3 cubed times 4 times x cubed times y. 
I'm writing out a lot of steps. You guys don't won't need to write all these steps. But I wanted to show this because the cube root of negative 3 cubed is what? Ne no. The cube root of negative 3 cubed is just negative. negative 3. So I have y times negative 3. The cube root of x cubed is x. And then can I take the cube root of any other term? So I'm left with 4y. I'm going to rewrite the answer, simplified. So the answer I write as negative 3 xy times the cube root of 4y. Square. Square, square. Oh, I forgot that squared. Yeah, you could also do that. We always like to we always like to take out the negatives though from if possible. Anybody have any questions? Now would be the time to ask because you are going to have some practice on this and homework. So everybody feels okay. Again, I did this as many steps as possible so you guys could really follow along with this. I would not, you know, you guys once you guys get used to the stuff, you can start kind of skipping some of these. Is everybody okay? Not okay. I get scared when people are quiet. Uh, it's like the, I don't know if you guys are sleeping or silent assassins. <laughs>